Hey there, welcome back to Spirit of a Handyman. Today we're looking at a shower with a pocket door as one of those shower walls. And the big concern that I and many of you have is this pocket door is, is made with three quarter inch <clears throat> pine here on the edges. And so there's just a lot of flex when you push on it. Um, so when you depress on these rails, it just has a lot of give. Um, if you're gonna go hang tile on that, uh, that's gonna lead to cracks in your grout and, and such. So I'm pitching an idea. This is something I read online um, at a group forum. Um, what I'm gonna try is, of course, I've also added this three quarter inch plywood right here um, to help just fill in this space so that these aren't carrying it alone. I'm gonna cover all of this in glue and add another sheet of half inch uh, OSB on the outside of this. And so that'll span from the floor all the way to the ceiling, tying all of that together. And since it's glued and screwed, um, I think it's gonna add a lot more rigidity. That's also gonna give us some room to put in like a grab bar here. Um, and then the backer board's gonna go on that. So I think that that's going to be enough to make this a really stable wall um, only time will tell, but, uh, at the very least, I'm going to show you, uh, how that looks as I do it, and then I'll give it a little push test, and let's take a look together and see how well that did. So this part's really good. This end over here still has some flex. What we ended up doing is just abandoning that pocket door because we weren't pleased with that flex over there on the edge. Um, one idea I did have, uh, I didn't end up pursuing it, but if you really needed to make a pocket door, um, I think if you do exactly what you just saw, but added a couple two by fours, um, kind of like going this way, like the pocket door, put it that way. Um, that would shore up that that end um, and then make that with the rigidity that it needs and you could get away with that. Um, so you'd have like a little bit of a bump out, um, a little bit of a, of a pillar to work with. But otherwise, if you had to go with a pocket door, I think you could do that. Otherwise, I don't think I recommend doing the pocket door idea with a tile shower wall. So hopefully this video saved you some materials, some time and uh, gave you a little bit of encouragement to go out there and try it yourself and just bolster the spirit of a handyman inside of you. So click that subscribe button and stay tuned for more updates from Spirit of a Handyman. He's got the spirit of a handyman.